नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स तो यहाँ पे स्वागत है आपका तो आज की जो सेवंथ अप्रैल की जो इम्पोर्टेंट अपडेट है फॉर द बैंक पेंशनर्स के लिए उसको यहाँ पे डिस्कस करेंगे इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट मैनर तो यहाँ पे जो हाल ही में अभी लेटर है दैट इज बीइंग अपडेटेड बाय मिस्टर सी एन बिन गोपालन जी उसको यहाँ पे डिस्कस करने वाले हैं मंगाल ऑफ यू सो वो है क्या एग्जैक्टली दैट इज बींग अपडेटेड एंड बींग रिटर्न टू मिस्टर बाय मिस्टर सी एन बिन गोपालन जी to the honorable level chief justice of india supreme court of india your lordship i am encouraged by the recent pronouncements of your leader lordship that the act of court shall prejudice no one and in such uh, affect situation the court is uh, under a obligation to undo the wrong done to the party by the act of court so the maximum accuracy shall be applicable so as per the settled law any undeserved or unfair advantage gained by a party in walking the jurisdiction of the court must be neutralized as the institution of litigation cannot be permitted to confer any advantage or any suitor by the act of the court so i regret to inform that i have been worst hit by the high court of kerala disallowing my writ petition without adequate hearing and writ appeal on unfounded ground so causing irreparable loss and injury to me and confirming undeserved and unfair advantage on the respondent so that decision in the writ petition and writ appeal may were contrary to the settled law rendering them per incurium also so why my writ petition of 2014 against union bank of india i had claimed refund of unlawful contribution raised to the pension fund of the bank which was anti uh, theoretical to regulations of statutory pension regulations and pension from date of retirement as mandated under regulation 5021 of pension regulation then in force so i really regret to inform that i have been worse hit by unhone wo bol diya friends so replying on a settlement joint note dated 27th of april 2010 between iba and union of employee association of officer which has no statutory basis the honorable high court of kerala found nothing wrong in the act of respondent bank in demanding additional contribution to its pension fund and denying pension from 24th of 21st of april 2001 the date of retirement to 26 november 2009 so what date uh, arbitrary fixed in the settlement and joint route so the respondent caused a gazetted uh, notification dated uh, 6 november 2017 after lapse of 7 years required additional contribution to the pension and for paying pension only found 27th november 2009 instead of from the day following the date of retirement so it has been laid down in the gazette notification that these provisions come into effect only from 6 november 2017 assuming without uh, admitting that these provisions are valid the fact remains that these provisions came into effect only from oh, 6 november so in other words the action of the bank in having raised additional contribution to the pension fund in the year 2010 and in postponing the payment of pension to 27th november 2009 on the strength of settlement joint note which is lacking statutory force or ultra wires wires the then existing pension regulations so uh, the above a part of the amendments uh, notified are void in law uh, act 1917 as they are inconsistent with pension scheme so the excerpts of the gazette notification dated 6 november 2017 showing the impermissible amendments to the pension regulation is produced as an actor 1 so memorandum of understanding cannot meddle with the statutory prescriptions nobody can agree by way of settlement at the behest of any organization taking away the benefit conferred on individual by way of statutes or statutory rules so the statutory prescriptions crystallize the right in favor of subject of the statute so it cannot be varied to their disadvantage unless otherwise by amendments to the statute so i shall be highly obliged if your lordship will be pleased to direct the honorable high court to look into the matter and to and do the wrong done to me in wake of your lordship observations and that the court is under a obligation to undo the wrong done to a party by the act of the court so i further submit that there is imperative need for recall and review of the orders to unhone ek orders ke prati high court of kerala ko 
जो उनका ऑर्डर आया है उसके चलते सुप्रीम कोर्ट में आगे जो हमारे लॉर्डशिप है उनको रिक्वेस्ट करी है फ्रेंड्स